on this play. Fourth and a yard, off the pick. The heat is coming. Yep, there yeah. it is. And he gets rid of it. And he's got go Ocho on, Senko. Wave goodbye, 85 to the oh. house. I've said it all game. You can't yeah. blitz the ghost he man. It's just he dissects it so easy. Just a motion no, slant, one-on-one on one man coverage, and he burns him. 31 to seven, the former bell where he's gonna go for That's two, Nick. The disrespect. And he's gonna pick up two. Why not? And 32 to seven. As you guys see in this video, um, Ghost Madden, I thought, had one of the best two-point conversion plays from anyone using the gun bunch offense. It's a great red zone play, and I want to take a moment and break it down. Now, if you guys have never met me before, my name is Cody, and basically what my channel is about is giving you Madden 21 tips and tricks, food that you can chew on, something that you can think about, routes that you can use, concepts that you can apply to your game. And it doesn't just have to be from the gun bunch. This concept that Ghost was using can apply to multiple different formations down in the red zone. It's actually a really nice little concept concept and a lot of people are struggling in the red zone this year especially passing the ball uh, you're seeing a lot of i form tight a lot of single back wing flex close different things like that which are all great formations but if you're if you're someone that likes to air the ball out likes to pass um, i wanted to break down this really really cool um, little play that Ghost was using um, in the club championships. He actually was two for two on two point conversions and went to this play in both of those situations. So we're going to break it down real quick for you guys. Now, again, um, my channel, we upload four videos every single day here with new tips and tricks coming out with new stuff every day. So if you have not already hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, I would highly encourage you to do that. Um, now, Ghost was running the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. As you can see here, we actually broke down this entire gun bunch about two weeks ago in our text message membership for our text message members now if you don't know what a text message member is it's basically somebody that literally just texts me and lets me know they want to receive and sign up for the membership so all you have to do to sign up is pull your cell phone out right now type in uh, a message to 812-216-3644 that is my cell phone number and just shoot me a text and let me know you'd like to receive it I have over an hour and a half uh, video on the gun bunch from the Carolina book in that um, in that uh, text message uh, membership, as well as several other things like the big nickel over G running pass defenses, um, different uh, different plays from the cluster from the Vikings. We typically do one new mini scheme or mini guide every single week for our text message members. Okay, so gun bunch offset. This is the play that he was running. Now, what he would do, and I thought this was so smart, Ghost loved to flip his bunch, meaning um, he liked to come out in the bunch one way and would typically flip it to the other side and to use this um, uh, ability from the gun bunch that when you hot route when you when you put someone on a hot route and you flip the play the hot route will typically stay and so for this play right here this is a great little uh, opportunity and a great little thing that you can do so i'm just going to come out here in the nickel 335 wide and uh, we're just going to come out in a basic cover three and we're going to come out and play spacing switch okay now what ghost was doing was he was taking his left side outside receiver in the bunch and he was putting him on a hitch route and then he would flip the play. And what you would see is this hitch route to Mike Evans would stay right where it is. Um, and then the next thing he would do is take the running back and put him on a little shoot flat route. And what you'll see is against cover three defense, you're going to be able to hit this hitch on the left side in the back of the end zone. As you can see, the cover three defense is going to basically come out of the play, come out of focus, and they're not going to be able to do that. Even if they play hard flats, basically this is going to work uh, very, very effectively. You'll see here once again same concept now they're kind of playing hard flats you see that he can kind of fit that ball in over there the zones are not going to handle it now what if big show was to run man-to-man -man coverage this is another really good point of the hitch route if the hitch route is on the line of scrimmage which in this situation it is on the line of scrimmage on the left side what you're going to see is this hitch route is going to basically get a nice inside release and kind of sit there and he's going to catch and fall into the end zone with an inside pass lead all i'm doing here is literally i am just low balling and throwing the ball to the inside and what you'll see 
is this hitch is just going to sit right in that little pocket right there. Now, see right there? See how you can lowball it? And again, you can possession or aggressive. I personally recommend um, aggressing catching uh, this route. Now, this is better than a curl route in the red zone. And the reason is because when you're going for two, if you, run, if you ran just a standard curl route, what you'll find that's going to happen is the curl route is going to basically go to the back of the end zone and then it's going to do a bunch of random things you can't trust it not reliable but with this little hitch right here i can easily inside pass like that and uh and and i will get probably about 75 percent of the time i'll get a catch i've never thrown a, a an interception with this against man-to-man -man coverage when i run a hitch now if i run a curl i've actually thrown plenty of interceptions in the red zone because of the space, the limited amount of space that this allows. And you'll see once again here, just low ball pass lead inside, and you see you got a big receiver like Mike Evans. He's going to post up. So that's man-to-man. -man, that's cover three. Now I want to show you cover two. And cover two probably stands the best chance at stopping this, um, to be quite honest. But what you'll see from a cover two is you have to account for his user, right, for, for the uh, opponent's user. The user has to be on the right spot. What you'll see here is I can pass lead that. I could pass lead Chris Godwin basically to the right or to the left with a low ball, and he's going to be able to get separation as well. Now, the best thing that the the um, the best thing that the defense can do is basically just user um, Chris Godwin. So you see here, if I'm in Tampa two and I user Chris Godwin, you know now this is going to be a little bit. There's no in this situation right here. There wouldn't be anything that I could really go to. Okay, so that's the probably the best way to stop it. The reason most people will not run cover two in the red zone is because what it's going to leave them vulnerable to, if I take Antonio Brown here and just put him on a post route, and I'm just going to motion him out to the right, what you'll notice is if they're, in, if they're in cover two, he'll get to the back of the end zone, and he'll get right in that little pocket right there, and you can hit that. Okay, so this is another little option, and that's something that might, you know, if you have a hot, a lot of people that are running bunch this year have slot apprentices, and they have tight end apprentices, so what I would recommend is actually putting, you know, tagging and putting a post route onto this route combination right here, and what you'll see is everything on the right side still going to work the same, that hard flat's going to still shoot out right there, but now you've got this back of the end zone route that can really get some separation if they were to go into a cover two zone, oftentimes what that's going to mean is their user will actually take antonio brown and we'll imitate this by just manning him up on him but um their user will oftentimes take this this route to antonio brown what that's going to leave is going to leave this little this little um underneath hitch to chris godwin so there's just a lot of things that they have to do you come out you flip it really quickly get your motion stamps in get everything going and you can snap this ball fairly quickly and um, and can be very very effective as you can see that little that little post in the back of the end zone. I think it's still very effective uh, even from the two yard line. The one thing you have to understand with the with the backside um, or the back of the end zone post routes this year is you really need to click onto the receiver and make sure that you're keeping him in bounds because he's going to get to the back of the end zone here. You just got to make sure to keep him in bounds. If you don't if you're not careful, he'll fall out of bounds. So that's just kind of a user thing that you're going to have to do yourself. Literally, all I'm doing is I'm just clicking onto the receiver. I'm bringing and I'm literally just bringing him back underneath and in bounce that's kind of the key right here back underneath and in bounce that's what we're looking for right there and that's a nice little two-point conversion play so shout out to ghost i thought he played incredible on the offensive side of the ball i personally learned a lot from him in his game and uh, hopefully you can take this and apply this if you run bunch if you don't run bunch the same concept can apply uh, i run something very similar to this out of the shotgun spread out of the arizona book um, i might share that with you a little bit later today but um really really phenomenal uh, phenomenal game by Ghost. And um, anyways, guys, if you want to join that text membership, it's great. It's um, So far, we've gotten a lot of great uh, reviews on that. People are really enjoying that. And if you, you want the rest of that gun bunch scheme, uh, I can shoot it to you via text as well. So just text me and let me know if you want that or not. And then lastly, guys, I would highly encourage you to join our Discord. Discord is a great place. It's a great area to be able to connect with one another. And uh, we talk Madden and Discord 24-7. Even when we're not playing, even when we're not even at the house, we're still being able to talk Madden, learn Madden, and uh, just connect with people around the Madden community. So it's just a great opportunity if you're looking to uh, get better, if you're looking to meet some new people, if you're looking to meet people that might be able to help you get better. Um, it's a great opportunity over at our Madden uh, Madden Discord, which you can find in the in the uh, in the description of this video. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for me today. We've got three more videos coming today, so be sure to subscribe. Be sure to turn on your notifications so you know when they go live. But typically, we're uploading videos at two o'clock, four o'clock. 
6 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And then we're planning to live stream every single night on YouTube here at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So we'd love for you to be able to come and hang out. Um, if you have any questions at all, just text me. Let me know what's up. We'll see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern on YouTube. Thanks, guys.